Oftentimes, designers and engineers uh, want to review drawings. Historically, to even review an electronic drawing of a large assembly could take a long time due to the fact that uh, CAD systems perform checks against the 3D models to ensure everything is up to date uh, in the drawing views. This is going to require loading all the 3D components into memory, uh, which can be very time consuming on large assemblies. So in Solid Edge version 20, uh, we've introduced the option to uh, open up a draft file in active uh, for drawing review. We click the inactive command and open this drawing. You can see just how quickly uh, we're able to open this draft file of a large assembly. Notice that it adds an inactive watermark across the drawing indicating that we are in inactive mode. Even in inactive mode though, I can uh, manipulate the drawing views. You can see everything is going to uh, update and stay relative position to each other. Another thing I can do in inactive mode is uh, begin adding detail. So for instance, I can add uh, smart dimensions to this assembly. Get some overall dimensions for my machine. Zoom in here a little bit tighter so we can see it a little bit better. We can also add callouts, uh, balloon callouts. These balloon callouts will be relative to the uh, linked to the parts list. Change some options here. And if I select uh, components where there's already an existing balloon, you can see that the balloon numbers do match up and that is able to determine uh, which edge this component belongs to uh, relative to the uh, parts list. If I go to my second sheet, you can see that we have an isometric view uh, of this uh, crimper assembly. And so what we'd like to do is place some dimensions in the isometric view using the Smart Dimension tool. One thing to keep in mind is that uh, these lines in 2D are not true length because they are an isometric. Uh, so it actually needs to go back to the model to check those particular, particular lengths. So as soon as I select a component, you can see Solid Edge is going to tell us uh, that we cannot place dimensions to 3D edges while we're in this inactive mode. Also gives us instructions on how to activate the drawing views by simply going up to the Applications uh, pull-down menu and clicking the Active Drawing. Now it's going to load those components into memory and you can see the inactive watermark is going to disappear indicating that the uh, draft sheets are now active. Once those drafting sheets are active, then what we can do is select those uh, particular components again and build my 3D dimensions because it can go back and check the model. Once we're finished with that, we can go back to the applications, uh, change it back to inactive mode. You'll see the watermark reappear. Now it's unloaded those 3D models from the draft sheet and we can toggle back and forth and begin adding more detail. So you can see how inactive drawing views is going to facilitate uh, opening drawings very very quickly of very very large assemblies for uh, creating dimensions, ballooning, uh, even printing uh, or plotting.